Hey everyone, Lenny Bonds here from One Tech Stop, and I'm here to show you a couple of tricks with the One UI touch interface. Now, to activate the One UI touch interface, we'd have to go into settings. So let me close out this, and I'll show you how to get there. You go settings you into the display, you scroll down into the navigation bar, and then you have the options to use full screen gestures, or you have the option to use the buttons. You also have the option to use hints, or you can remove the hints, which removes these three lines at the bottom. Now I'll show you something without having the hints at the bottom and the difference between the two, which I just discovered. I have it to swipe up and it goes to my home screen. I have it set the opposite way. So if I swipe up this way, it shows me the apps that I previously used. If I hit this and I swipe this way, it will take me back. So my back buttons here, my previously used apps are here and my home screen buttons here. I'm going to open up a few apps. Let me open up YouTube. Let me open up Messenger. Okay, so now I have three apps and at the bottom you could see without the navigations you could scroll. And it's fluid, it's nice, simple. When you add the gesture hints you're able to do something called app switching, which I can't. So if I swipe this over, it would actually change to the previous app I used, and I'll show you. Let's go into settings again, which I had open already. Go into the navigation bar. Let's go into gesture hints. And I'll explain to you what I'm saying. So now with this middle button, if I just swipe it to the right, it switches to the next app, which I did not know. Also, if you hold it and switch, let's say we go into our recently used apps and you hold this button, you could now move it to any app you want and it'll take you right there. So from here, I could just switch. If I hold it, it will take me wherever I want which I think is a pretty cool feature that is not said. So as you can see, I swipe up to bring up my apps. When I move it, I could go either way. I'm sorry, I'm pressing it a little too hard. That's why my Google Assistant is coming up. So I think it's a pretty cool feature that is not said here. It just shows you to swipe up to go home, Swipe one side to go recent apps and swipe another side to go back. I'm not sure how many of you guys knew this. I personally didn't. I was talking to my friend Andy at a bar and he told me I usually have the hints off because I think it looks nicer without them. But I really appreciate the feature if I just swipe it now. It's a task switcher. Or if I hold it, I could go to any app I want. So if you like this video, please subscribe to us and hit the like button. And if there's any other tips that you might have that I'm missing out on, please let me know because all we are a review is here where users just like you and everyone else. I come to realize that the users know more than the reviewers because we get a device, we play with it. This is actually my main device. So anything I have is really something that I use. But anyway, this is Lenny signing off from One Tech Stop. I hope this helped. And give me a like, please.